So I just wanted to show you all my craft area setup. It's kind of makeshift right now and it's probably not gonna be permanent because I'm gonna need to use this space for other things in the house. Used to be Taro's area that we've kind of kept empty, but um, I've been using it as a creative space uh, to fill some of that energy with something positive. And ever since Taro passed away, I've been doing a lot of like journaling, arts and crafts, and just creative stuff in general. So these matching kind of like velvet orange chairs, there's a matching one over there that has a neon sign. Um, but I originally got these because I was going to do a podcast um, series on my channel, but that didn't happen. But they're really comfy and I wanted them to resemble the Friends orange couch sofa that is super iconic. This is just a regular fold-out table that we had in our garage. I have a neon sign that says good times because I'm always trying to have a good time when I'm crafting. This area has um, a big window by our living room so it gets a lot of good natural light which i really appreciate when i'm crafting and looking at details um back here so we just have our nest cam that uh, we have for nala which you can hear right now with her tip tappy feet and then i just have an orchid that my brother gave me when taro passed away and i've just been keeping it alive and it's finally blooming this year and then we have just like a little rabbit um station but that's this corner and then moving on we obviously have my taro um photo that was hung over where her cage used to be this is nala's like feeding bowl because it's just near our kitchen and then i have like my stationary stuff right here um i have stickers for journaling some stamps more stickers post-it pads tools and pens um just general stuff and then I have my washi tape, my uh, Hobonichi Teko and some sewing supplies, crafting stuff and my traveler journal. Moving on over here I just have more tools like wax and seals and stuff that I use for wedding crafts and envelopes. have a bunch of yarn, a label maker, I've been working on like a project um, for my friends so that's what all the yarn is about. And then these are like table numbers that I haven't finished working on for the wedding. Um, but yeah, and then we also have just more wedding stuff. I'm just very much doing all the prep stuff DIY because I'm really, really picky and you just save a lot of money that way. But these are some of our photos from Italy when we eloped that we'll be displaying at our like sign-in table. And I just keep a regular placemat underneath so I can kind of have like a soft space to work on um, in this area. But yeah, that is pretty much my space. There's like a tripod there because sometimes I film in this area and it's been really great to just, you know, make stuff. So lastly, I wanted to show you all my updated work setup. Um, quite a lot has changed, but Long story short, I got a rug because I thought it would be really nice to kind of separate the space from the bedroom and just make it a little bit more cozy and keep my chair from sliding everywhere. If you watched my previous video, I had my desk set up here rather than here and it was great for sun, but um, just being on like Zoom calls and like Teams calls and stuff like that, um, the backdrop lighting was just not good and I always looked like I was in the dark even though I wasn't. So I kind of moved it over here and it made it feel a little bit more open because I was able to see outside. So what's changed over here was essentially I removed what was previously on the wall and I replaced it with some just kind of minimal decor. Um, two floating shelves. This is my little alpaca friend um, and it's really, really cute. And then I have a picture of Taro. It's one of my favorite pictures of her eating salad. And then over here, my brother got me this um, artwork by a local artist just have some dried flowers and then this is actually a photo that we got while we were in Positano Italy and it's like a microscopic photo that an artist made on Positano paper whatever that means Josh always makes fun of me for having it because he says I'm blind um, but I think it's really cool and if you actually get like a magnifying magnifying glass up to it um, you can really see all the details I just have those two shelves there and then we have our closet space of course which hasn't changed um, for the chair, I basically put like 
this really nice fuzzy jacket on it to make it look a little bit cuter but it's also just more comfortable um that way and then i kept my flower pillow still a standing desk as you can see um i switch out this mat every once in a while with the rabbit bakery one that i previously had and then um this one one thing that's really i think changed is my keyboard so i essentially um spray painted these keycaps uh two different main colors and then i kept the dim sum um what's it called the dim sum key artisanal keycap because that was cute um, but yeah it just kind of brings all the warm tones together and then i kept my pink mouse my work laptop is under there and i added this light thing that i saw online and it adds a lot of warmth to the area especially because sometimes it does get dark and um, it changes from like yellow, white, cool tone, and different settings. So that's really nice. And then I added our little Italy elopement photo because I think it's really cute. And then this is still the same. But yeah, that's essentially my desk now. It's a lot more minimal. Um, oh, one thing, <laughs> totally forgot. I ended up switching out the monitor stand. I originally had the white one in my previous video and I just took my partner's old one even though I don't like the color I'll probably spray, uh, I'll probably spray paint it white or something but that just allows me a little bit more movement and um, flexibility with my monitor. Hopefully the update on my workspace not too much has changed but also it looks really really different so I hope you enjoyed this update and let me know what you think. Bye!